wanted to talk a little bit about Rallycross versus Rallycross. There's a lot of speculation as to what is what and kind of what each one actually is. Uh, two very commonly used terms for basically two entirely different sports. So what the heck are they? Well, we can break it down uh, simply by saying there's one that's European based, so outside of the US, and there's one that's, uh, we'll just call that guy North American because that includes Canada as well. All right, so what is European Rallycross? We're gonna put a big old line down here because there's quite a big separation there. Uh, you're thinking about WRX, that's the top guys, top in the world, uh, big, fund, well-funded manufacturer teams. ARX, they are new to the field and they are taking, picking up the pieces from what left over from uh, the previous series. This is also high dollar, high level vehicles with top level paid professional drivers as well. This basic series is uh, all at the same time, basically. So we have uh, all of the cars on the track at once. It's broken into heats, so okay, not everyone's there at the same time, but basically it's multiple cars running door to door. That's a big separation between the North American style. Uh, the other side of this is uh, these are physical races. So they are very much uh, next to each other. They are running into each other, uh, not on purpose, but they do uh, tend to do that uh, a lot. It's a mixed surface which is different than say a regular style uh, of racing. So we have lots of uh, action as you're going both on and off dirt. There are jumps, which also adds a, an interesting element. A lot of times those are incorporated with a particular lap that's separated from the rest. That particular lap is uh, also considered the joker. So the way these races work is you'll have four to six laps. Uh, of that, one of those laps has to be what's called the joker. And that is uh, typically a longer lap that's, uh, that's used to basically break up the field and there's a little bit of strategy involved there. There is a driver, of course, inside the car, only one. And then there is also a spotter from the outside who helps uh, determine when's the right time to take the joker lap as well as what's happening with the overall race and uh, traffic management as well. It's very hard to see in some of these cars as they get, uh, you know, the mirrors knocked off and they get covered with dirt. Plus, the back half of the car is, is hard to see out of when it's covered with dirt as well. So, spotter helps determine position on the track as well as when to take the joker lap and, uh, and also how to defend uh, any other racers that may be coming up to, uh, to pass them at that time. So the point is, this is a, uh, a very high level, high dollar professional race series backed by full manufacturers uh, with multiple cars at the same time with a, a lot of action and activity and uh, television coverage as well. Line up G, so that's gonna cost him big time. Martel does go standard lap, and look at that bucky. Right side of the grid goes standard lap, left side of the grid goes joke. Pretty straightforward there. The other end of the spectrum here is North American Rallycross, uh, and that's a lot more accessible in terms of affordability. You don't need a specialized developed car. It doesn't have to have all of the safety equipment, roll cages, or anything like that. Basically, if, uh, if you have a uh, street legal, safe car that will pass tech, you can run the sucker on a course. So this is one car at a time, uh, and uh, you are basically against uh, the clock strictly. So against the clock, very similar to uh, our stage rally derivatives. Um, and you are in open areas that are safe that, uh, that allow lots of runoff. So open areas and safety is the biggest factor here. We want to get people involved with the sport. We want to have them uh, provide an opportunity for them to open up the car and see what their car is capable of doing, but we want to do it in a safe environment that's, uh, and that requires a lot less safety equipment. So for European Rallycross, high level, we have safety equipment that's required in terms of helmet, racing suits, uh, full roll cages, harnesses, all of that stuff. For North American style Rallycross, uh, basically all you need is a helmet and a safe car and uh, a few bucks in your wallet. The uh, side of this that's interesting, uh, it can be considered autocross of the rally world. Similar to a autocross is a gateway into road racing and professional racing that way. Uh, rallycross for the North American market is considered like sort of an autocross for the stage rally and rallycross world there. 
So it's intended to be welcoming, invite people into the sport, let them uh, give them a venue in which to compete, uh, but do that so on a fairly inexpensive manner. So uh, inexpensive is uh, a relative term for all of us, but potentially you can run a stock car. There are stock classes. There are classes that don't require rally tires or anything uh, of that that uh, nature. So uh, ideally, uh, it's done in a safe environment. It's very open, uh, accessible, and, uh, and inexpensive, most importantly. So for the big guys, the top level, we have WRX.com. That is where you can find everything involved with the, the top level world stuff. This is on par with the WRC, the World Rally Championship. This is the World Rally Rallycross Championship. You also have the ARX to check out, and that is uh, those are the top level, at least in the North American area when it comes to the European style rallycross. Other end of the spectrum here, uh, we have the SCCA National Championship, which uh, Dirtfish sponsors, thank you very much. And uh, we also have a lot of local regional events uh, and partners who put on a lot of uh, regional events as well. So look into local regional rallycross series if you're interested in doing that. You also have a lot of events happening in, in Canada. In fact, those guys run on, on frozen lakes and, and uh, out in the snow, which we're very jealous of uh, those who don't get that. Uh, but you can look at the SCCA.org uh, for sure. Uh, you'll also be able to look for local uh, sanctioning bodies that can help uh, produce rallycross events as well. So I hope this at least cleans up some of the speculation there of, of trying to understand what the heck rallycross is. Uh, there's a lot of different information out there. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities to go out and enjoy the sport of rally. Uh, pick one, go for it. All of them are going to be awesome. And of course, check out dirtfish.com for any information about anything rally related.